Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Hebrews chapter 6, verses 1 through 12. Therefore, let us go on toward perfection, leaving behind the basic teaching about Christ, and not laying again the foundation, repentance from dead works and faith toward God, instruction about baptisms, laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And we will do this if God permits. For it is impossible to restore again to repentance those who have once been enlightened, have tasted the heavenly gift, and have shared in the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come, and then have fallen away. Since on their own they are crucifying again the Son of God, and are holding him up to contempt. Ground that drinks up the rain, falling on it repeatedly, and that produces a crop useful to those for whom it is cultivated, receives a blessing from God. But if it produces thorns and th thistles, it is worthless and on the verge of being cursed. Its end is to be burned over. Even though we speak in this way, beloved, we are confident of better things in your case, things that belong to salvation. For God is not unjust. He will not overlook your work and the love that you showed for his sake in serving the saints, as you still do. And we want each one of you to show the same diligence, so as to realize the full assurance of hope to the very end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, inherit the promises. If you will, please join me in a time of prayer now together this morning. Let us now pray together. Almighty God, you fill all things with your presence. In your great love, keep us near you in this day. Keep those that are in a battle with illness during these times filled with hope. Keep those that are angry filled with compassion. And grant that in all our ways and doings we may remember that you see us and may always have grace to know and perceive what things you would have us do, Lord, and give us strength to do the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.